adding highlight jiggle to your avatar's eyes has so far mostly been limited to 2D VTubers. However, with Vinyan, this now becomes fully accessible to all the 3D VTubers out there. And today I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. Hi hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking me on my YouTube videos on how to create the highlight jiggle for my avatar. Now in my own case I have coded this, but today I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily do this with Vinyan. The feature is pretty much built in and there is an example file that you can use. So today I'm going to show you guys two ways to do this. In both of these cases we are using Vroid model. If your model is made in Blender, this should be relatively simple to do as well, so you can still watch the tutorial to see the other parts of it. If you use Blender, what you want to do is you want to create a shape key that rotates your eye highlights by around 45 degrees. But for those Vroid users, we will be using HANA tool in the first example. If you have access to HANA tool, this will be the easiest way. But the second example is for those who are not able to buy HANA tool at the moment. And uh, while the effect of that is not quite as good as rotating the highlights, it will still you get you some kind of effect going on. Anyway, to get started, you need to get yourself Univerum and the HANA tool asset packages. Anyway, let's get started. The first step to adding eye highlight jiggle is we need to do some modifications to the model. Now, there are of course a couple of ways. Today we're going to go through the way for those who have a Vroid model. If your model is not made in Vroid or you have edited it, you probably already know how to use Blender well enough to create the shape keys in Blender manually. Anyway, to add the eye highlights for a Vroid model, what you will first need to do is import your VRM to the Unity. So for that you will need to add the UniVRM asset package. The version you use doesn't really matter all that much. I will personally be using the version 0.89, but you should use whatever version you otherwise use. So simply import your UniVRM to an empty Unity project and just import it all. Now, Today we will be using HANA tool to do this. HANA tool does cost around 1000 yen, so you can buy that from boot, but if you don't want to, then again, you can do the shape keys also in Blender, then you don't have to pay anything. But to cut some time, we will be using HANA tool today. So let's just import HANA tool into our project as well. Okay, once you have imported all the needed libraries, the next step is to import your VRM file. So simply import it somewhere in your project. Okay, now that your model has imported, we can simply drag it into the scene, like so. And how do we actually use HANA tool to create the eye highlight jiggle? There is a creator called Yoritril who has created a dataset for HANA tool that contains various kinds of uh, blend shapes for your eyes. So we're going to be using that. The link to Yoridrill's uh, site is in the description. So when you arrive to the site, simply scroll down. You will also find here the Japanese tutorial for doing the same that we are going through today. But in general, you will just want to download the Vroid underscore iris dot txt. This will add several different blend shapes, but the one we really need is the highlight rotate. Of course, you can use the depth to add some depth to your eyes as well. It looks really nice, by the way. So we can download it. Just click the Vroid iris and download it somewhere. Okay, once you're done downloading, the next step you want to do is add that to your project. And we can do this simply by going to HANA tools folder, then there is the blend shape data folder and you will want to add the Vroid iris txt here. So just drag that in. 
Okay. And the next step for you is to add it to your avatar. So click open your avatar. And now let's select HANA tool from the menu and cl then click Reader. This will open up a pop-up like this and it should list the data set that you just added. Okay. The next thing you need to do is drag your face, basically the mesh that contains your shape keys, drag it into the skin mesh renderer slot here, like so. Then select the Vroid iris. And after that, you can just click the read blend shapes. And now you should have them working. You can double check this by selecting your face and then opening the blend shapes here in the skin mesh renderer. And when you scroll all the way to the down, you should have some more shape keys here. You can test them out. And as you can see, they are working. Now, of course, this alone isn't enough to get them like completely working. So we still need to create the blend shape that uses this shape keys. So simply open up your avatar. There should be the blend shape folder. And then there should be the blend shape index. And this lists all your blend shape clips. Okay, and now we just need to create a new blend shape clip. We can do that by clicking the create blend shape clip. And now the name you give this, it's important that you use the correct name. Otherwise you will have to edit something in Venian later. So we're going to call this shape key clip I jiggle. So add it using the similar case like this. And now select the eye jiggle clip and then under the face here, you should see the new shape keys. If they do not show up, then we will need to apply these changes to our prefab first. And as you can see, we do not see them here yet. So simply click on your model in the scene hierarchy and then go all the way to the top right here, you see the overrides. Click on that and here click apply all. Okay, now the changes have been applied to the prefab. Now, if we go back to the blend shape index, select the eye jiggle and now open the face, we see the new shape keys here. So now for the eye jiggle, let's just add the rotation to 100. And you can, of course, preview the value here at the bottom. We could also add a little bit of highlight down value if we wanted to. Okay, and now we do have the shape key done or the blend shape clip done. Okay, next step for us is to export our VRM. So today we will be using a VRM file. You obviously should use VSF avatar format when you're working with Vinyan. So simply just export your model. Now do remember that if you're exporting a VSF avatar, you may have to remove the HANA tool from your project before export. Okay, the next step for you is to launch up Vinyan and load up the avatar that we just created. Once your avatar has been loaded in the Vinyan, you can of course double check that the blend shape is actually in the model. You can do this by opening up the monitor and then that will list all your blend shapes. Now, if you do not have the eye jiggle here, then something went wrong in your export. So go back to Unity and try again. But as you can see here, we have the eye jiggle. Okay, so now that you have your tracking connected, the next step for us is to actually create the eye jiggle in Vinyan. And we can do this quite simply by going to the redeem settings, then create yourself a new graph. And we can import an example. Now, this example, of course, depends on whether your model has ARKit tracking or if you're not using ARKit tracking. We're not using ARKit tracking today. As you can see, our avatar is using very simple, very simple tracking using that comes from Vroid. So let's uh, click the load button now and then go to Vinyan's examples folder. So under Vinyan, there is a folder called examples. In the examples folder, you will see two example graphs. 
Blink Eye Jiggle and Blink Eye Jiggle ARKit. Now, if you are using ARKit, make sure to import the ARKit version. If you're not using ARKit version, import the Blink Eye Jiggle file. Okay, and we have imported the file. Now, the specific version has been made to work with a Blink that is synchronized. So when you have both of your eyes synchronized to the Blink. If you are not using a synchronized Blink, then you may have to edit this node graph a little bit. And I will show you how you can edit this right now. So when you open the graph, you will see right here the blend shape filter that says Blink, and it is set to value 90, like this. If you move it up a little bit, you will see that it is connected to the loop, and then different parameter filters. Now, to make this work with both your eyes, we will actually need to check two blend shape values instead of just one. And how do we do this? First of all, let's open up the monitor and look a bit at the values. Now, as you can see, when we don't have our Blink linked, you have blend shape values called Blink L and Blink R that are being set instead of the normal Blink value. So instead of the Blink, we need to check the Blink L and Blink R. So let's do that. And uh, to do this, we're going to duplicate the Blink filter here. So right click it, click duplicate. And to this, we are going to just add the underscore L. And then to this, we are going to add underscore R like this. Now we're going to right click here on the green socket to remove the linking. And after that, we're going to draw a line from the blink loop timer to the green socket of this new filter. Then we're going to draw a line from the upper socket to this one like so. And then from the less socket, we're going to link it to the same that the other one is linking to. So this eyes closed parameter filter. So let's just draw a line to that one. And now, of course, since we imported this graph without restarting Vinyan, what we need to do is find the application start node here in the graph, and we need to signal it. The other alternative you have is to restart Vinyan so that this application start node gets called. So let's send signal to that. And now, as you can see, our highlight jiggle is working. Now, if you do not have HANA tool and you are unable to buy it, there is one other thing we could also do if you have a Vroid avatar. It is not as good looking, obviously, as rotating the highlights, but we can do a slight highlight movement. So let me showcase how to do that first. So let's select our blend shape index and then we are at the eye jiggle. Now I'm going to reset the values that we had here originally. And what we're going to do next is we're going to adjust material properties. So go to the material list here. And now we can click the plus icon. And then from the drop down, we need to select our eye highlight eye, this texture here. Click that one. And now from these values, we're going to select our first like albedo texture or more like its coordinates. So that should be the main text underscore ST. And these are now the texture coordinates for our eye. When you apply this, you will see that the texture will basically disappear. So we need to start adjusting these values to reflect what we have here on this avatar right now. And to get the values we need to use, we should open up the material first to see what we have added there. So select your face and then let's find the material for the eye highlights. And when you scroll all the way down, you will see the values here. So tiling is set to one and offsets are at zero. So we will be using these values. So let's go back to the blend shape. So go to the index, select your 
article and then material list. And let's add one to the tiling. Like so. Okay. So now it looks basically the same. Now what we could do next is we could try to move it this. So let's just adjust the eye value a little bit. So we're going to move it down a little bit. And then we could also move it a little to the side. Like so. Now this is not rotation, but it will still give you a little bit of a movement. And of course, we'll just have to see how it looks like. So now that we have this kind of movement, we can export our model and see how it looks like in Venion. And as you can see, it's not quite as good as the rotational highlight, but at least it's something. I hope today's tutorial was useful. And as you probably saw, the later effect wasn't quite as good as the first example. However, it will still get you some kind of highlight movement if you are unable to get the HANA tool at the moment. If you are using Blender, again, you can create those shape keys yourself and then follow the same technique we used here. If you run into any questions with Vinyan, I highly recommend you join our Discord. We have a relatively big Discord already with lots of topics and assets for the application. The link is in the description. If you want to stay up to date with all my future Vinyan tutorials, make sure to follow, subscribe, and so on. See you next time, cuties. Bye bye.